Coming off of a one-year deal with the Baltimore Orioles for $8 million, Adam Frazier didn't exactly have the best year, but it wasn't that long ago that he was putting up solid offensive numbers. There are a couple consistencies here though. He doesn't hit the ball hard, but he does hit the ball on the sweet spot of the bat. He's a left-handed hitter. He's going to be 32 years old come opening day. I don't know why I keep having his name run through my mind, but he's the kind of hitter that might fit the Yankees lineup. He's not an all-or-nothing guy. He'll get on base, and he's a lefty. He can play second, right field, left field. If the Juan Soto talks continue to stray like we're hearing, the fact that Otani's already out, Brian Cashman is known for going to the bottom of the barrel. How about we don't go to the bottom of the barrel and we go to the middle of it? He's definitely not going to break the bank. And he's absolutely capable of having a bounce back year. Kind of gives me that Geo vibe. Who, by the way, is also a free agent. Brandon Belt kind of crossed my mind too, but nah, he doesn't fit. The DH spot is just clogged with a guy named Stanton. But you know... I'm not anticipating Juan Soto coming to the Yankees. I'm just trying to think realistically here because quite frankly, I'm tired of the dregs of free agency coming over. Not that some of them have not had their moments. Willie Calhoun had some solid games. Jake Bowers, Franchi Cordero had a hot start. But you know, with Dominguez, with Tommy John, a guy like Adam Frazier is a risk worth taking.